orders are back, so you may hear them during this video, but I'll try my best to make sure you don't. Hello everyone, welcome to Addictat Gaming Time, here's the intro. Before we get into anything else, I know that EA had their calling calls, uh, earning calls, whatever, and apparently they didn't really speak much of Star Wars or didn't speak anything. Look, I'm not going to talk about it here. If you want to go and see someone else talk about it, like Battlefront updates of Star Wars HQ, I'll leave both of those videos down below. Now with Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, at the moment, there's actually not much news to do with Star Wars Battlefront 2, but on a Wednesday from one of my series I do called at Addy's Hat Gate, Addy's Hat TV, I talked about Star Wars Battlefront 2 and how I still think that this hot fix will take longer as of when we could get it, maybe sometime in August. Because if Crate was out of uh, Galactic Assault and other modes for like, um, I don't know, a month or yeah, a month, then it could be the same thing as this. So basically, it's kind of like when Ben Watt comes back. Uh, guys, I won't blame you if you go full force crazy or if you, I don't know. But how I'm thinking of it with the new content that we're getting next month, I'm hoping that we get hotfix first, or whatever they like to call it, and then we get that. Damn, push that back how long you want in August. Just give us back Emperor Palpatine and the other stuff. And yeah, honestly, I've changed my mind about how they are holding back Ewok cunts. They should have just released it. They should have. Because this is no longer a hotfix. This is just called a. I don't know. A long fix. Now things may have changed, but I haven't not seen this on Amazon. But the new game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has been listed as a pre-order on game. Now I'm not too sure if this is a fault or if this is a mistake. But if you go on game, you can clearly see that it's for a pre-order. Now not much information is detailed, but the price is there. If I was you, please don't pre-order it until next year, just to be sure. It is the game because they're going to get taken out anytime soon because we know EA, they may cancel it or this is a new hope for us that we may get a Star Wars game that we've been waiting for for a very long time. Now, I've noticed that uh, Caboose has done a lot of Spider-Man videos for that PlayStation 4 game. So, again, if you want to go and see all Spider-Man stuff, uh, link to that channel down below, but every now and then we will report on it here. Crash Bandicoot in the same trilogy for the multi platforms has still been doing very good, and people are comparing it to last year. So, hopefully, if we get a new game either in 2019 or 2020, this can prove something that the Crash community is still there and we still want another one. If you go on the IMDb page, and also Kevin Conroy has kind of already said this, that in the new game Lego DC Super Villains, he is listed to play as uh, Batman, which is quite amazing. And if I'm not wrong, Mark Hamill is also set to play the Joker. So this is also amazing. So there, thank you guys so much for watching this gaming time. Uh, thank you for the videos. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, hopefully we get more Battlefront 2 news, which I'm more pumped about than anything else. Anyway, peace guys. See ya.